All right, hopefully you guys have a chance to try it. And before we continue, let me just ask you guys to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. You guys can find a lot more interesting math videos on my channel. And thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting. Okay, this right here, it's the easier one because we can factor the denominator and everything works out nicely. When you factor it out, you get x squared minus one times x squared plus one. And you see, cancel out already. Therefore, we just have the integral of one over x squared plus one. And of course, that's just going to be the inverse tangent of that input x. And with that, we are done. That's it. Now, <laughs> when we have the plus right here, we are not going to use complex number in this video, okay? Keep everything real here. Hmm. I cannot factor anything out, even though I can factor this, but I don't want to because uh, I did that in the other video, go check it out, right? But this is what we can do as well. Notice I have x squared and I have x to the fourth power here. We are going to start off by divide everything by x squared. So you actually see that everything can pair up nicely. So let me just put this down for you guys. And this is the integral now. We have the one plus one over x squared over this times that is x squared plus this times that is one over x squared. So it kind of pairs up pretty well. This is the sum of two squares. I will focus on this. And in fact, this is the part that we want to kind of complete the square. I don't want to do it right there, okay? If you do, it's, it's possible, but it's slightly more complicated. And perhaps I'll close it because I will do some algebra right here, right now. Let's do it on the side. Focus on the denominator, and I'll just put down a note right here. This is a saying, x, and you square that, and then this is a saying, you have the 1 over x, and then you square that. So we have the a squared plus b squared. That's not what we want. If you want to factor this out, we want to have either plus 2ab in the middle, or minus 2ab in the middle. Which one should we use? Maybe both will work, right? But in fact, I want to somehow factor things out and then hopefully this will be my du after my u substitution. This right here, we have 1 over x already. When I differentiate 1 over x, I get negative 1 over x squared. I have that. Well, that's a plus. Therefore, I will actually choose the minus version right here. I want to have minus 2ab and the a is x and then the b is the 1 over x right here. So let me multiply this right here. And of course, this is not the same as the original, but it's okay because we can just immediately subtract two, well, we subtract this, we'll have to add. We have to add the two x times one over x back. So this is still equivalent from the original. Well, well, you see that these three terms right here, we can end up with x minus one over x and then square. And this will be my u in a second. And this right here is nothing but just a nice number two. So I will put this down for the denominator and we will see that this right here is the nice integral of one plus one over x squared over, right here we have, let's put this on blue and pink, parentheses and then x minus 1 over x, and then we square that, and then we add a 2 after that. And then from here, don't forget that dx. And as I said, we will do some u substitution. We can just let u equal to this. So I will begin by writing this down, let u equal to x minus 1 over x. Differentiate both sides, we get du equal, the derivative of this is 1. The derivative of this is negative 1 over x squared, but we have another negative, so it becomes plus. Aha, that's why I chose the minus 2ab right here, right? So we can end up with the top right here. Okay, so we have this, and of course, don't forget the dx. And now you see that on the top, the whole thing together is just the du. Therefore, this is now the integral. Let me just put the du on the side, I like that, just my personal preference. And then for the denominator, we have u squared plus 2. And for the 2, you can look at the 2 as square root of 2. 
and then square. Because we are going to use the formula to integrate 1 over u square plus square root 2 square. We have to use the r tangent, right? And the result of that is going to be 1 over this, which is square root of 2 times the inverse tangent. And you put down u over that, which is square root of 2. That's the integration step. Cool, huh? What's u? Look back. It's x minus 1 over x. So that's pretty much it, depending if I just put this back, I think I will. So we get 1 over square root of 2 times the inverse tangent. And u is just that, x minus 1 over x, and then divided by square root of 2. And yes, we have some little complex fractions. So if you really want, you can just get a common denominator whatsoever. Perhaps I'll just do that for you guys. 1 over square root of 2 times the inverse tangent. And I multiply x and x, so I get x squared on the top. And then minus 1. And then over x, I'll just put it down in the denominator as well. So over x, and then we have the square root of 2 in the denominator as well. So with that, we are done. So I will just say plus e, case close, right? And as always, that's it. And once again, if you guys like math, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much. That's it.